It's the guys at brunch. Guys at brunch. Bad bad ass. It's the guys at brunch. All right, welcome to Guys at Brunch. I'm Sean Bradley. And I'm Nicholas. All right, and Happy New Year. It's 2015. Yes, Happy New Year. That's our first show. I know, right? Of 2015. Yeah, so you want to get into it? Let's get into it. All right, so the first topic of the discussion for 2015 is how significant is sex in your relationship? How significant is it? Yeah, how significant is it? Like all sex? like Yeah, sex. How significant? Any sex. In your relationship, which which mean in a sex? Like I'm saying, like penetration, or you just sex, mean? whatever you consider sex in your relationship, sex. If you giving head, if you sucking nipples, licking balls, whatever it is, how significant is it in your relationship? That's important to me. I think you definitely need it. You know, that help you. I feel like sex after getting to know someone to do help you build a deeper connection with the other person, and um. So, you know, we all get horny, so you better be satisfying me so I don't go outside the relationship. So what if it's like what if it's like mediocre dick, you know? Like if it's not like good. I think for me if I like some usually if I if I like someone and I'm dating you, um, I don't think the sex is normally bad. I think that if you when you do date people and you get to know them and you really like the person that you're with, I think the sex for me is always good. Because it's more of an emotional connection versus a, just a physical thing. But in the, in the beginning, it's, it really isn't an emotional connection because you're still getting another person. <clears throat> um, but yeah, but in the beginning, like lately, when I would date someone, we don't start off with sex. And it usually go probably a couple months before we get to that. And I've been lucky enough that the sex is good. <laughs> um, okay. So in the beginning, you waited like uh, two months. Yeah. About two months. Okay, so two months is, is not bad, but are you y'all are not exclusive at that point in time, right? Yeah. Um. Before you now, how I date now? Before I <laughs> date someone and have sex with them, I'm exclusive with the person before. I, um. Before we decide to go to bed together. So you already gonna let the person know that okay, well we're gonna be exclusive from this point on. You can't sleep with anybody, and I can't sleep with anybody, and in two months. Technically, we gonna sleep together. So he's supposed. Well, to I don't let them know that oh, two months we gonna sleep together. I mean, when we come to the decision, but like, what do you do? Are you ready to have sex? You know, like if we if we we come to the decision first, like okay, we're exclusively dating, and then we can proceed with sex. And and you know, and dating is very different for everybody because, like, yeah. for me, like if I'm gonna be exclusive with somebody, decide to be exclusive with somebody, I know already had the dick. You so, you, you know, need to know how it is, right? Because it could yeah. be blah. And it's just like, who who want to be trying? I mean, you could be a nice person, nice gentleman. You could pay for everything. I don't need you to pay for it, but you can if you want to. Um, you can do all of that. But, I mean, sex isn't everything. But if it's if it's just not, it could be good. You know what I'm saying? I would prefer to be great. But if, if it's good and you great in the other things in our relationship, fine. But if it's just mediocre, like, ugh. Well, mm. I, like I said, I've been lucky. But I don't, I mean, for me, I don't, I don't know what would happen if I... You know, if I'd be like, okay, we're exclusive, and then I slept with someone, and then it was really bad. I don't know. I mean, I experienced that years <laughs> ago when I did sleep with someone, and the sex wasn't great. And was I mean, this after you wasted two? It months? was like three months. Yeah. You could. I mean. <laughs> you could have saved yourself a whole bunch of time. But I mean, we didn't stop dating because the sex was bad. I think that. But then they put the into it. <clears throat> no, I think that if you. If you wait long and what might be long to you and then the sex is bad, then you can tell, teach each other, like, okay, this is how I like it. Or go to a sex therapy so or the, So the sex that was bad with the person years ago, so you, did you talk to him about, okay, you ain't you ain't taking it to the left and you take it to the left? Did you kind of... No, I didn't talk to him about that. Okay. This was years ago, so no, I wasn't that comfortable so, with letting someone know, like, I'm not satisfied with your sex. So now you would tell your man that, baby, uh, you need to work on a few things? Yeah, I'll be like, I like it like this. So let, let, I, I think I'm open now. I think you should let your partner partners know what you enjoy. So, you know, y'all can please each other. I, I think eventually, through the course of you having sex, your partner should kind of figure out what you like, how you like it. Technically, without you trying to, without you having to say it, you can kind of guide them towards it. Well, yeah, I but, think you know you yeah. gotta be like just be you know you just you can use that approach, gotten them towards it. And if that don't work, then have the discussion with them. Okay, I like yeah. I like think this. if you're completely unsatisfied and but you really love the person, I think you definitely should sit down and like, look, baby, I ain't trying to hurt your feelings, but you can't you can't do it, mm. right? 
Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, I think you definitely should be open with your partner, what you into and everything like that. And, you know, like when it comes to like fetishes or whatever, I think yeah, I you think, need to have that discussion yeah. early on. At the very beginning. Before you even so become can, exclusive. So I can know like, right, am I right, even going to be able to go into this relationship with I you? I agree. Because you could be wanting to put rides up your penis and I'm like, I'm just not that type of person to do all that. So, mm. Oh, the sounding thing. That's what it's called. Sounding. sounding. That's, That's what it's called when they stick the um, oh rod in there. Yeah. I ain't, look, I ain't even know the name. I just know I don't want to do that. Mm. Right. I, and mean, I saw yeah. them, they were talking about hookers on the point. And they were talking about how they would do that on the, to the men. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, some people yeah, no. into different type of things. And, you know, they get pleasure different ways. So, I mean, that's a discussion that needs to be had. Okay. Like, okay, this is what I'm into, you know. So, when it comes to sex in a relationship, what percentage would you give sex in a relationship? What percentage? Uh, I would say twenty percent. Twenty percent. Yeah. What about you? I would give. I would say thirty. Thirty. I would say about thirty because I think your relationship should be there, and right. sex is just. You say you want to. You say you want to test it out before you get involved. But how soon would you? Do you think you would test it out? <laughs> oh, um, it just depends on the circumstances. Like, okay, prime, prime example. This one guy I um, I dated before my before my current relationship right now. Um, we were just supposed to be um one night stands. Uh, FBs and like we met one week and it was just supposed to happen that day but it didn't happen that day so the next week it happened mm-hmm. and then he was just the guy that I was just sleeping with and sleeping with okay. and then I eventually caught feelings when I shouldn't have but I did right. and I'm like okay whatever let's just do it right. so I mean it just depends on how you look at the situation I mean, right. if there's somebody I want to date but what about your last one because that one was like a, a, a friends with benefits but like when, like but now you're in a relationship with Oh, it did. Yeah, oh, okay. relationship. Um, with the last one, um, let's see. We met on a Wednesday, had sex on a Saturday. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. and, and if the sex was bad, you don't think you would have continued dating them? No. Okay. All right. So let's take a break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Do you have a business, product, or event that you need to promote to men and women ages twenty three to forty four? If so, Radio on Fire can help you do it with one of our promo packages. Our broadcasts reach over 150,000 people per month. Sponsorship for one or all of our radio programs can include live mentions, social media posting, commercials, and more. Visit RadioOnFire.com slash advertise to find out more about a promo package that fits your needs. Rates start as low as $50. If you want to reach men and women ages 23 to 44, log on now. Radioonfire.com Welcome back to Guys at Brunch. Okay, so we talked about how important is sex in a relationship. Mm -hmm. How important is race in a relationship to you? Um... It's important, but it's not important. It it goes by your preference. And I prefer a black man. Um, at one point in time, I didn't even like light skinned guys. I was like, I'm not dating a damn light skinned guy. And then I found my, I didn't like light skinned guys. And I didn't like guys with dreads. And then I found myself in a relationship with a guy that was light skinned and had dreads. Okay. So, I mean, it just, I think over time, your preferences and your likes and dislikes change. But right. I would prefer an African American man, okay. personally. But you open now to dating. Outside of your race? Ooh, I don't know. You don't know? Because I'm just more... Tra- I know what I'm attracted to. Right. So, I, mean, I was going to ask, do you think that when <clears throat> people have, like, a race preference or if people against a certain race, like, they might, you know, like, on the website, you might see no blacks or no whites. Do you think that's race- racist? No, no. I think that that's what, you, that's what you like. You know what you like. I mean, you can't help but like what you like. I mean, I can't begrudge you that. Some people don't like fat people. Some people don't like skinny people. Some people don't like films. So right. you know, so it just the, whatever your preference is, your preference, and it's better that you put it out there so I won't waste my time hitting you up. I agree. Um, they did, um this um Buzzfeed. You ever um visit that website? Uh, I, well, Buzzfeed. No. They did like a, a um a poll on like dating online, and they said mm-hmm. that um the data reveals that pe- people are so racist because they might be like, oh, I want. A white person, I want a black person that's, or Asian person, and I and I always I feel like you. I think that um, race is a preference, like you say, like you might not be into an overly feminine guy, you might not be into a really skinny guy or something. So yeah. I think that race when it comes is to a, a sexual partner, the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Right. When I think about who I really, if I close my eyes and, and say this is my dream man or my dream woman or whoever, right. and 
nine times out of ten, it's gonna be a color of a skin attached to right. that. Sometimes, and I, mean, I think when you dating online, it saves you an enormous amount of time to say, okay, this is what I want. So weed them out. That person won't be hitting you up. You know, like if right. you're not into Asians, you you can put that right. on your profile. Maybe they won't hit you up. Like you know? I give you a prime example. Like for A for A, you on A for A, you might see somebody, you might see a guy that's a top, and the top might say no um, script, no um, no um, strictly bottom hit me up. So you know to keep moving if you are right. about him and you see he's the top, you know he wants somebody that's versatile or you know and uh, above, you know. And I agree. So I mean, it's it's just if you put your preference out there, that's to me that's not racist. If you know that you want a white woman, you want a white woman. If you know you want a black man, you want a black man. If you know you want an Asian, you right. want an Asian. It's right. just a simple. And what do you like? So the poll that they took, of course, was for well, it was for heterosexual people. Who do you think was the least likely to get hit up? Online or get replied back to black women. Yeah, it was <laughs> what black women. Did. What did I yeah, know? That's even, wrong. <laughs> I know it was black women. Who you think was the most likely to get hit up by men? Like what race? White women. Asian. Asian women. Okay. Asian, Asian women. women. It's Being number one. I can they see taking that. over. I, I can see it because it's, it's an exotic thing now, and they still got the. I can see it. I can see that. I right. See it. And they flexible, or supposedly are flexible, and stuff. I can see all that. Right, yeah. So even they be saying even black men don't want white um black women. Well, you know, I think the stereotype they don't want the the stereo the stereotype that's out there the loud, obnoxious, rude b i t c h. They don't want that stereotype, and that's what they I think that's what they're thinking when they're saying, "Oh, black woman." They they don't want any. Leave. No, no. I'm saying like black women would hit them up even if they was like a professional woman, and they wouldn't reply back to them. The black men. Well, maybe he just like white women or Asian <laughs> women. I mean, again. But I'm saying like it's it was just happened like lots of time. <laughs> like it wasn't him. It was like out of the all the people that they surveyed. And, now, you know. what are black women attractive? Black just as attractive as the white women and Asian women, or were they kind of mediocre? It I was mean, just like yeah, they, they, they took a poll. It was a poll for like uh, um 1.4 million um people who was on the, um the dating app. So out of that, I don't yeah. know. I mean, you know, they dog our black women out so much. I mean, they do, but you know, hold tight. You know, if the black man don't want you, a white man will, or a, a African, I'm not African, but a Mexican will, an Asian man might want you, an Indian might want you. you right. know, dick might not be as big, but you know, make do. Right. right. <laughs> so, what else do you think about when it comes to um, dating? What else is important? Dating. What else is the person has to be nice, great hygiene has to be you know height weight proportion. Right. Um, I was giving you your segue to go into your sex history. Okay, well, thank you for that. <laughs> All right. So, um, do you think I don't? Do you think it's important to know your partner's sexual past? Um, I think it's important as far as, like I said earlier um, in the first segment, like if they into a type of fetish, I want to know like what you're into. And I think if they had any STDs or STIs, that is important. But as far as like, do I need to know how many people you slept with and who you slept with in the past? That's not really important to me. Okay. What about you? Um, yes and no. Because and I say and I say no because it's not on the base level. I'm like, look, I didn't know you and you didn't know me. I just met you, so of course you slept with other people. I'm not a virgin, so I slept with other people too. However, I huh? I agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you should have me fun. I'm like, wait a minute. No, no, I no. Agree. Um, <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So, however, I'm a voyeur. I like to I like to hear. I like to see. I like to listen. So you know. Sometimes I might want to hear a story or two. You know, if you did something with him and him in the bathroom 10 years ago, I might want to hear about it. You know, that's just me. I'm just freaking like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hear about it. I don't want to think about my partner or no one else. I mean, like you say, I know that we both had sex before, but I don't want to, me personally, I don't want to know your stories. I don't want to be like, okay, you did this with them and, you know, I don't know. That's just me. I don't want to know. I don't want. To, I don't need a. a one yeah, I want to know strictly so. for carnal reasons only, not because I'm who you did. Who you did it with? Not right, yeah. look. You have a past. Like my partner now, he's born and raised here. Mm-hmm. So of course he got a past. He, he a lot of people. We go to parties, and a lot of people he has been with. Do you want to know? Like, do you want him to tell you? Like, if um, it just depends on what the vibe is. If it's like, if the person's kind of weird, I'm like, did you sleep with that person? They're like, yeah, maybe. Or, some, or, the, or the person wanted to sleep with. Them. It's, it's like, so it's interesting, but it's never an offensive thing. Like he was like, you know, that person right there. He was like, okay, well, at this party, maybe it's it's three people I slept with. And I'm like, but of course, you lived here all your life, right? I'm not. I'm not from here, so you know, you have to look at it like that. I understand. So. Yeah, I, and sometimes people can tell. Oh, I went to a restaurant where 
I'm really good friends with um someone I used to date, and I mm-hmm. took um well, I took the last person I was dating to this restaurant, and we were you know eating it. Then he asked me, he was like, "Did you and him have sex before?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I think sometimes you know, like the person you dating can tell. You know, but with the with the gays, they always try to say like all your friends sleep with each other. Yeah, on certain really. levels, on certain levels, on certain levels, some friends you do have a couple friends that you sleep with and become friends with. Mm-hmm. You do. I have a friend, one of my good best friends was like that in that situation. And but like most majority of my friends, hell no. I mean, yeah, I, I would sleep with them most. Mm, uh, yeah, we do not see each other that way. At all, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know so much about them, and you know they it's know not so even much about that. It's like because, like, my friends are probably more so like me. I got you. Got to be more masculine than me for me to sleep with you. Oh, okay, but like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, I just so. not really see. Like, if I start off being your friend, then no, I can't cross that line. But yeah. So yeah, I normally it goes from friend. if you're if you if you're messing around, then you go to be in friends because you know you, you the sex might have been good, but you realize that the emotions aren't there, or y'all just not compatible relationship wise. But y'all enjoy each other's company, so it goes from being friend from from being lovers or sex mates to just being real good friends. Right. So, yeah, you know, I think the most people I'm friends with, I haven't had sex with them. The one guy that I did end up having sex with. He lived next door to me, and we used to date. So yeah, most of my friends, I've <laughs> never had sex with most of my friends, and I can't imagine having sex with most of my friends. What about y'all? <laughs> yeah, what about y'all? Can you have sex with your friends? Or? Okay, and continue to be friends. Right, that's kind of difficult. See, because I feel like when, like if I, if we currently having sex and then we hanging out, it's like I'm still I'm competing though. Like you know. It's like if I'm having sex with you and then we out at a club, it's like I'm competing with you. No, as long as I know what I'm getting myself into, as long as I know what this is, going into it, knowing that, okay, this is just sex, I have no feelings for you, we're not going to catch any feelings, as long as I know that going into it, I can, baby, okay, you better go holler at that girl over there or that boy over there. Mm -mm." See, yeah, I I can't get with the whole friends with benefits. That's not like my type of thing. You know what? I, I can only do that because I... I dated this. I didn't date this guy. I was sleeping with this guy that was my friend, mm-hmm. and I had to compartmentalize my feelings because I did fall in love with the guy. But mm-hmm. you know, they were. Well, how difficult was else. that? It was very difficult. Like I mean, it was very difficult. But eventually, I got over, it and I had to learn to push my feelings aside in order to enjoy sex with this person. So eventually, I pushed my feelings aside to where I didn't have any feelings for them at all romantically. And now we're like we're just like that's the friends. Like I look at him like as I know it's weird, but I look at him as like my like one of my brothers or one of my gay brothers, like that, whatever. And I don't have we haven't had sex in ooh over ten years, whatever. But you know, at that time in my life, I had to push my feelings aside and learn to fuck without feelings, for lack of a better phrase. Oh, okay. You know, in order to <clears throat> get through the situation. <laughs> that could be in place of like <laughs> FWB F. <laughs> I like that, right? All right, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. (laughs) (laughs) All right, welcome back to Guys at Brunch. I'm Sean Bradley. Okay, now this came from Facebook. So this is the question came from Facebook. Mm -hmm. How... Funny how people funny how people can sleep together, have unprotected sex, share bills, share social security numbers and bank account information, private medical information, have children together, but keep phones locked and social media private. Just the thought. How do you feel about that? Maybe they have something to hide. Um, if I feel like maybe they have something to hide, but some people do like to have, you know, some sense of privacy to mm-hmm. themselves. Like, I mean, no one is going to know all of that, like that type of information, like my social security number and all of that. But um, I like to keep my own my social media separate from the person I'm dating. I don't need you all up in my business saying right. like who I'm befriending and what I'm talking about on my page. Like, let's have some, you know, our own lives. I like. Well, I have no problem, like, if we're on Facebook and, like, we both are on Facebook and he has Facebook. He has been on Facebook before I was on Facebook. But, you know, and, you know, we go to each other's pages from time to time, but it's not, I don't care who your friend, who is a friend with on Facebook. It's not my concern. It's not even my issue. I'm like, I don't care. So, right. I mean, that, that don't bother me. Yeah, it bother me. Um, <clears throat> I know the last guy I was dating, he he was kind of upset because I wouldn't befriend him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I like to keep that separate. Like, I'm, you know, this is how I am when I date. And he got over of it eventually. But why wouldn't you, like, be friends? I don't issue befriending him on my partner on Facebook. Why wouldn't you? 
Um, I just like to keep it separate. I mean, I feel like, I, you know, this is for my friends. I don't, you know, like, we still get to know each other, so you don't need to be up in my business like that, like, everything I'm doing. And I don't even post often on Facebook. But do you think they would be lurking, though? I mean, yeah. I told, because they, 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 they told me, like, oh, I saw you befriended someone oh, who damn. is a friend with me. And they was like, I know I shouldn't be looking, but, I mean, you just befriended someone who I know. And I'm like, who did I just befriend? And they was like, well, I don't want to say, but, you know, names. But I'm just like, oh, well, you know, that's the reason why you're not on my Facebook page. Oh, okay. Because, you, need you to know. Their relationship. That's kind of petty. Well, it's over now. So. Yeah. Now, why was it over? Why share? was it over? Yeah, you want to share? Um, no, I don't want to share. Oh, damn. You, you hear me? I'm like, okay, <laughs> niggas about to share something. I'll tell you all my business, but he he don't want to share nothing, y'all. So. Mm, no, mm, we mm. just, no, it wasn't, it just, it's just new. Like, it's just ended. So, it's not like I'm completely over it, but I, it's not something I want to share right now. Anyway. Also, oh, you still going through? I mean, not really going through, like, the, um, but I'm just saying it's fresh. I don't want to get into that. And then, like. I don't like to put other people's business out there. Like, if I'm you dating someone, I want to I wanna protect other people I date. You can be like, vague about it. Like, I would want them to protect me. You can go ahead me. and tell us his dick was small. You can tell us <laughs> Like I've said, I've been lucky as far as, like, you know, dating someone I'm for a while playing. and just getting in beer with them. So, if them. you stalking Nicholas right now watching, look, he didn't say that. Out right. there was just me. So, you know, don't don't come at him. <laughs> right. Okay. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's fresh. We good. I talked to him today. Oh, okay. yeah, is it, how is that I mean cause like when I break up with someone the thing I have to go through is like a two week stage of not well, it's talking been over to two you weeks. and it's getting been, to a routine it's, it's been like a month and a half so when y'all broke up did you like do a clean break and not talk to each other did y'all still talk to each other every day or no we didn't talk to each other every day after um like we um decided like okay this is not gonna work that was it and I text him today for the first time the first since time? like okay. um the weekend after Thanksgiving. Okay, oh. because what I have to do is I need like at least two weeks to get you out of my system to f- fill that void in my days. Like when I'm texting you, when I'm calling you, what would I be normally doing if I wasn't with you? So I have to get back to that routine. So that's the hardest part for me is just to right. get over that person and get them out and get a different routine without them in it. Oh yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I'm, he definitely out my routine and everything, but um, yeah, still like something I really don't want to discuss. Like as far as like that's what good. went on. Mm-hmm. But I think in every relationship you go, every relationship that you in, you learn something from it, and you take it and you grow from it. I, I, I agree with that. Right. You do learn something about yourself. Um, one of the things, um, like women, some women will say, you know, that I don't like dating men. Or men make you change. Men, are, men are cause you to do certain things and make you change. And I'm like, why should you change yourself? You know, why mm-hmm. should you change the things that you do for me? Like, so you go to this man failed, but you go to another man, and you're going to change what you who you are for mm-hmm. this new man and make right. him suffer the consequences of the last man's mistakes. I don't believe in that. I believe in just continuing to be yourself and that right person will come along and love you exactly for who you are and what you bring to the table. Well, I think if you realize um, some flaws about yourself, growth is good. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if you're not growing, you're like really spiritually dead. So, I think growing is a part of life and change, you know, you have to change. We're constantly changing. The yeah. world is constantly changing. So, I mean... It depends on like what you mean, like far as change. If you're changing for the better, then what yeah, is I, the I, I, I like that part. But my whole thing is like with me, I'm very generous. I like you because you know you don't do birthdays. Like but I'm generous Christmas. throughout the year. I'm generous throughout the year. <laughs> you don't do birthdays at Christmas, child. <laughs> do you? Do, you don't even do Valentine's Day. You do the fifty percent off candy, don't you? The mm-hmm. day after, I was like, no. <laughs> oh, but so, and, and in some part, I'm like, I should stop being generous with these dudes. And I'm like, but. If 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 that's me, if that's my essence, yeah. I'm just a generous person in general. Mm-hmm. You know, would I want to change that? Would that change something in me? Like, you know, who I really am. Right. Well, but, but, but the the question will be, why would you want to stop being generous to these guys? I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just like I'm saying, like if it's for the changing you for the better, then mm-hmm. it's something like okay, maybe I should look at this. I mean, from the last relationship I was in with dating this guy, I mean, I've learned some things about myself that I'm still I'm working on now. That I learned from this relationship, you know, and you can't share that, right? Share what? No, oh, I think that I can share <laughs> one one piece of it is like as it far as fun. like um drinking alcohol. I think alcohol alcohol is a, a mood altering substance, and I think that right now, like when I date someone, I probably won't drink the next person I date because I feel like sometimes drinking can cause arguments or just make you, you overreact. Drunk? 
I'm not a violent drunk, but I think that sometimes you can, your you know your mouth can get you in trouble. So what you doing? You be getting slick. I mean, sometimes alcohol can make you talk. So <laughs> you scared because you know how to beat somebody's ass a couple years back when you were drunk. Now come on now. No, I'm just saying. Like I feel like that alcohol can, you know, yeah, make change you, you can speak sometimes. a sober mind. No, not even that. <laughs> I don't believe that. People say alcohol make people tell the truth. I Some think it people, does. but not for everyone. It's, it, it lowers your inhibitions. It will say things that you normally, your country would normally say, oh, "Baby, that ain't the right thing to do." Right. It's but not sometimes it make you do things that you might not normally do. Also, <clears throat> I think it does make you do things that you really want to do, but you just got that self restraint holding you back. And alcohol just let the floodgates open. And like, but baby, let's do it. Well, that's that's possible. Like drugs, but- I think. <clears throat> Drugs. Yeah, I think it's, I think all that is encompasses all that helps lower your inhibitions to have you do things that you would probably normally wouldn't do, but you want to do. I don't believe that it's things that you want to do. Like always, I think people like, have every, fantasies. Yes. I mean, there. Are, oh like, yeah, yeah. Don't you have like fantasies and desires that that you think would be best if it would just stay a fantasy or a desire? Not really. I mean, I can say anything I wanted to do as far as like fantasy was. I mean. Sex wise, you been swinging from the ceilings? And- no, I mean that wasn't in my <laughs> fantasy. But I mean, like, yeah, I well, mean, no. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just like not that freaky. I would say. So I'm just saying, it's not like much in my fantasy that I let's really. Let's not say freaky. Let's say adventurous or creative or. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Is, is, what, what is it that you want to do? What's your fantasy? Um, I don't really have one like that. Yeah, I mean, I really me don't either. I have one like because you know if I want to do, I've done it already. So yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. I think that um, by you um, you know, while you young, you definitely should explore your. But you know what I would want to do? Feel do? I know it's damn near impo- it's impossible, but I would want to feel what a woman and a man feels combined. Because mm. when you watch a porno, a woman seems like she's having way more fun than the man. And I've always wondered, even as a kid, maybe that's why I'm a bottom. Because even as a kid, I was like, damn, she like she having such a good time. What but is she do you have that a good time as, as a bottom? Like, do you have yeah, a good time? I wouldn't be doing it if I did. No, I'm just saying, like, do you think that's what, you know, they, they feel? No, I think it's very different. Because, I mean, I think it's very different. I think it's a different sensation altogether. And I'm just curious, like, like. How is she, what does she feel combined with what does he feel? I'm just greedy, so you know I would want to know that. But you I can't think that's kind of like being versatile. You feel what a top feeling, you feel what a you bottom feel. But you're not a woman, so how would you? You we can, we, can, we can assume, but we would never know. I mean, Wait, I'm just I would just think it's like that. I just would assume, and I'm sure you've topped before. <laughs> 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 Okay, y'all have before. Yeah, that's, yeah I'm yeah, just yeah, saying, yeah. like, I was, I'm just guessing. <laughs> but again, like, that's different. I mean, that's like, oh, I, this, I, this is just like masturbating for a man, in a sense, almost. I mean, you can squeeze your hand as tight as you want to get a flashlight if you want to. We're getting real nasty. But, um, <laughs> but I'm just saying. You can, mm, I, I, I never think about women. I don't, I don't really watch, like, heterosexual porn. Even so. when you were a kid, you never watched heterosexual porn? Uh,. Not really. Oh, okay. I mean, I've saw it before, but I mean, I always say what I wanted. As a kid, as a kid, you was watching gay porn. As a kid, well, I didn't start watching porn until like nineteen anyway. Oh, well, damn, like, really? Never mind. Yeah, so. <laughs> always knew. Like some people, you just know, right? Yeah, I'm like, how is she like? She just having the time of her life. Maybe she was faking it real good. But I'm like, damn, what is she feeling? Mm-hmm. I want to feel what she feeling. Maybe that. Mm, mm, no. Mm. Well. Let us know your fantasies. Share some of your fantasies with us on your uh, comments. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you think. And then comment on any topic that we discuss. And like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Instagram. Oh, yeah. I, oh, you know, like after a breakup, people, they say, like, well, they say women. After a breakup, they usually cut their hair off or get implants. <laughs> I got Instagram do? and. Did I get something else? Uh, Facebook. You got you got Instagram. Yeah. Instagram, and I thought I got That's something. I always had that. I forgot that, but I did get Instagram. Oh, okay, so that was you're rebelling. Good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so check us out. Uh huh. I I uploaded some pictures. So yeah. Um, I'm handsome Nick on Instagram. If you want to follow me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's H A N D S U M N I C K on okay. Instagram. All right, and I am Stacia Bradley on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I think that's it. Yeah. Y'all had a question for um, that came with email. Oh, cool. Did you answer it? Yeah. Uh, 
they wanted to know how you got the name Guys at Brunch. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so we had a question in case they didn't hear it oh. that came oh, through yeah, our yeah. email. So, so you know that we do our shows live now. So, um, you can send in, you can call in or send your questions. And so, a question just came through: How did we come up with the name Guys at Brunch? You want to tell us? Okay, I can tell you. Tell, tell okay. All right. So, what happened was when we went to create the show, I was like, "Well, I think it'll be good to do like a, a show called Brunch in the afternoon with guys around a table, blah 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 blah." And so, when we all got together to come up with the concept of the show, I was like, "I got the name." What about brunch? And then Nicholas, I was like, "How about guys at brunch?" And that's how we came up with the name. Well, first, it was like men at brunch or men at brunch. It was like something like, that's like too that. close to ladies who lunch right. or something. So then we're like, yeah, I was like, like guys at brunch, and we all agreed on it. And you know, when we first started, like, it was three of us, yeah, and um, and that was it. And the other one didn't talk, so it's right. like two of us. So yeah, make sure you send some <laughs> all your comments and um, send topics that you might want to hear us discuss and get our opinions on. And until next time. Bye, (laughs) y'all. Make sure y'all follow.